Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Rose, and today, ugh, we're gonna be unboxing a PC that the viewers built up. We're not sure what's inside here, and this has been a project that's been in the making since like Christmas time, so we're gonna unbox this thing and see what our viewers built. But before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. You know, dude, I've been having so many issues lately just getting views on my YouTube videos, and I can't figure it out, man. Well, that is a perfect thing that you just mentioned because right here is TubeBuddy. What? TubeBuddy is an awesome tool to help you grow on YouTube with a keyword optimization search engine tool and also the ability to plan out your videos and overall get better analytics compared to YouTube alone. Where has this been all my life? You can check it out in the description down below. And and use that link because it helps us out. Now, into the video. So we literally know nothing about this PC. The only thing that we know is that this PC costs $300. Now, originally the idea for this video was we were going to challenge our viewers and build a $300 PC and just see who could build the best possible PC for $300. But well, things got busy here at Toasty Bros busy. HQ and we just kind of decided to unbox this thing, benchmark it, and just see if our viewers could build a PC that's better than us. Now I have to give a big thanks to a couple members of our Discord server who actually put this thing together, were able to benchmark it, and provided parts for the system that we will eventually be giving away. So stay tuned to the end of the video to learn how we're gonna be doing that. But big thanks to Dark Lord Vader, Uncle Logic, or Uncertain Logic, for those who've seen our uh, Chinese parts PC builds, uh, Jim Bands, and UCA. They are awesome members of our Discord server, and without them, this would not be possible. So if you guys aren't a part of our Discord server, join it down below. It's definitely an awesome place to hang out and talk about tech. But guess what? It is not a tech support server, so don't bother our people about that. So there's really not much more to talk about because we don't we don't know what it is. So let's go ahead and uh, open it up and see what they did. So big special thanks to Jim Bands. He's the one who basically shipped this to me, and he was the last person to well test this thing. And I'm gonna have to go. Oh my uh, goodness! They use pack. Oh, guys, packing. Ooh, it's peanuts. in a Q300L case. That's interesting. Nice. And oddly enough, they have this side up like all over it. I don't know if that's something they did. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the floor because I don't yeah, wanna. Let's They're sticking to me. <laughs> guys, really packing peanuts of all the things you could have used. You guys, I already hate you. No, I'm just kidding. We'll send you the bill for the cleaning, guys. <laughs> He's go. like stuck to it. This side up. Look at all these arrows. All My right, goodness. we have duct tape. That's a good choice. <laughs> yeah, so they were, they're really persistent about a certain side. Do you think it's liquid cooled? That would be interesting. Because this I'm thing, just like, it just, it's not making sense to me why they're, they're really worried about a certain side. I mean, I doubt it. They couldn't have done that for 300. Unless he surprised us. Yeah. So there I don't know. There's more packing peanuts in here. There's more peanuts? I Did, think that they're playing with us. I think they know we hate packing peanuts. This is a big troll. This has to be. Like, tastes, tastes like, like Cheetos. Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, dude, they always taste like Cheetos. All right. Here it is. PC built by our viewers. I'm, I'm seriously thinking it's AMD. Is it? You feeling it? Just the back of this motherboard, I don't know what's making me think it, but it, oh god, look at the inside of the power supply. Oh no. Hunky? Hunt, hunt, hunt key? It's hunt key. What's hunt key? I oh don't god, know. I'm scared. <laughs> Do they go with like a sketchy power supply? I, I think so, it looks sketchy. Oh so boy. So the case is still like new. Yeah, I mean it has an AMD cooler. Wow, they think a Ryzen group? with this dude? Yeah. This is insane. All right, Wait, there's $300 a GPU in it. Ryzen, is that RGB RAM? No, that ain't RGB RAM. What is that? <laughs> it's Team Group. Okay, well, let's okay. open it up and see what we got going on here. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's a reference card. We might have to pull that out and see, but look, that's using the Full Tower uh, uh, Wraith cooler. That's actually interesting. I mean, we're probably just gonna take this apart to see what it is, because we I don't know which this. CPU. I gotta see this RAM, too. I'm not, I don't think they included a note or anything. So it's four gigs, DDR4, 3600 megahertz? I mean, so, it's only eight gigs, but it's fast. It's like, fast, that's really strange, okay. What did you, how did you guys, we can't even do this for $300, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling. I'm really feeling feel cheated, cheated here. I need to get a price breakdown. We'll probably get some information from that because they did take some footage of them putting the system together. So I'll okay. probably include it somewhere in this video. Let's open the backup real quick and see how they did on cable management that's and storage. That's the thing too, all right, here we go. I don't know what they did for storage because there's not an M.2 that I saw, so. I believe Jim Bands built this, so critique his cable management and just see. I definitely think that they cut corner with the power supply. I, I still, I, I still yeah. don't know what this is. I mean, it doesn't look like the worst thing I've ever seen, but it is mustard and ketchup. I mean, SSD. Oh, a Doggo SSD. <laughs> it's <a> Doggo. <laughs> Let me see that thing. Oh, we got, oh, it's 240 though. We got a Doggo SSD, it's actually, guys. actually like, it's not the worst. I, I, I don't approve of this. I don't understand why they just left it dangling, but it's not bad. Yeah, so for those who don't know, the Doggo SSD is kind of legendary in our all Chinese parts PC build. So I know that was a uncertain logic uh, creation, so. Oh, for sure. 
Got the graphics card out. So we have three display ports, two HD or one HDMI. Um, and then we have a model number right here. So, you know, let's, uh, let's do a little research and see if we can figure out what this is. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this thing up. Don't mind that PC. You've probably already seen this video already, but that's a mini ITX PC we just built. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and test this thing um, and see what kind of specs we got. The front panel stuff is plugged in. Oh, the reset switch is it's backwards. The reset switch is the power switch. <laughs> well, minus 10 points, but okay. We'll, it works. We'll see how this works. Okay, we're posting. I'm gonna get into the bios real, real, real quick. quick before we get into the post. I'm gonna... It's a 1600. Ah, it's Did an you know E320. That? So that's how they save some money on the motherboard. Okay, so I was I, my bet was right, 1600. We got the RAM running really slow. That's not promising. So basically, what we're doing is we're uh, we're loading up our Windows install uh, USB, and we're gonna it'll show what stuff is. Um, taken up on here basically, like how much space is on the drive that we're gonna be using. And also show if there's already partitions. Those will let us know if they actually did install Windows or not. No, nope, they didn't. They okay. did not install Windows. Okay, interesting. So I thought uh, there was memes. Yeah, I was I, I, I was hoping it. for something entertaining, but I guess we didn't get that. So um, I guess we'll go ahead and throw in our benchmark drive then. That's probably the next best thing and we'll just uh, see what this thing can do. Interesting, okay. Um, we are rebooting at this moment in time, but we did find out that this was a uh, 570, so I mean, that's something, I guess. It's actually a pretty, pretty good budget. 570, AMD Ryzen 1600. Don't know if it's the AF or not, but 1600, ASRock A320M motherboard. I, I, that's I, I scary. don't know. I, I cannot tell you guys, but I, I bet it's under $20. And the Cooler Master Q300L. Well, the real question is, can we get it to work? Because it just decided to shit itself. So um, I want to restart it again. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, we think it was actually the XMP profile that was preventing it from booting. So our bad. Uh, but we went ahead and set it to 3200 megahertz. We're back to the uh, Doggo SSD, just setting up to make sure everything is fine. Then we'll probably go back to our benchmark drive because, well, that has games on it and it'll actually allow us to play some games right away. But um, all is good right now. When we did post, we did figure out it was an RX 570. Um, we're still kind of scared of that power supply, but you know, right now all is well. So uh, we will check back in once we have this thing booted up and we will uh, test some games. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and test uh, well, Modern Warfare first. We're running on like normal settings right now, so we're gonna be benchmarking this thing, uh, just seeing how it performs. Right now, the GPU is running pretty toasty, so we'll see how this uh, reference card does once we actually dive into a map, but um, this thing may need a uh, re thermal paste application, so uh, let's we'll just dive in and see what kind of performance. <laughs> All right, guys, we are in a, well, Modern Warfare match. We're going to see what kind of frame we can get. Right now on, like, normal settings, we're getting about 80-ish FPS, which is pretty ideal. We tested a similar-ish system with an RX 570 and, uh, oh, goodness, uh, and, like, an i5 processor uh, before, and we were getting decent results with that. So this is kind of a step up for $300, which is actually a pretty good value. So uh, we're just kind of just testing to make sure this thing is stable, honestly, because the specs, I mean, I know are pretty solid for the money. Uh, the only thing I do worry about is that power supply. So the frame rate has dipped to like 60, but not below that. So I mean, for a budget PC, this is more than playable. You can definitely overclock the Ryzen 5 1600 as well if you want to get even better results, because the thing's only at like 3.4 gigahertz right now. Um, and that's uh, Ray Stealth Cooler has a little bit of headroom if you want to do some slight overclocking, but not a whole lot on an A320 motherboard. Drop that right there. Hello. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but I got like a quadruple. Oh God. This map is so fun. And uh, there you go. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I won a game and uh, definitely more than playable. So uh, let's go ahead and test another game real quick. All right, guys, the next game we're gonna be testing is, uh, well, Overwatch. So we're gonna dive into this uh, Team Deathmatch match. We're on ultra settings, by the way, with an unlimited frame rate cap. So I'm expecting good results, but we just wanna test a couple of games real quick to show you that this thing actually works and that our viewers didn't uh, make a ticking time bomb. So um, well over 100 plus FPS is kind of what we expected with this setup. So let's just run around real quick. I don't think I'm gonna be as effective as I was in Modern Warfare, but I mean, we'll, uh, we'll still give it our best shot. Oh, I got a kill. 
But yeah, this is a really well-balanced system. This thing will be really good for esports titles. You can do a lot with this thing, really. Um, and there's an upgrade path, which is actually pretty insane because you can just go to like a 2600. You can go with anything higher. I know it's an A320, so I probably won't go much higher than like a 3600. Uh, but I mean, hey, it's a decent motherboard. It has eight gigs of RAM. While it's only dual channel, um, you don't have an extra RAM slot or extra two RAM slots to add much more than two six of RAM. You could always swap that for 16. Um, I mean, this thing works. I can't complain. Let's wait until I die here and then we'll probably dive into another game. As long as I don't die in like two seconds. We'll see. Hey, what's up? Oh, that was a bad ult. Bad ult. Oh. But hey, there you go, guys. This is definitely a GPU-bound game, so you could definitely upgrade the graphics card in this sort of configuration. Uh, but I mean, Overwatch is more than playable in ultra settings, which is kind of what I expected. Uh, but, oh, get one more kill here. There we go. Ooh, there we go. All right, Overwatch, more than playable. Let's try one more game real quick. All right, guys, we're gonna try to run this benchmark again. We actually had it crash on highest settings. So we're just gonna run medium just to get to this benchmark and see how this thing performs. Um, so yeah, let's do that real quick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we have right here is an average of 61 FPS on medium settings, which isn't great, but clearly the RX 570 is the bottleneck here, but it's still a great car for 1080p, especially with esports titles. So um, you could run AAA titles, medium, high settings if you wanted to at 60 FPS and have no problems, but Overall, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with this computer. There are a few things that we'll probably talk about at the end of this video that are a little bit sketchy, but I mean, our gears didn't do too bad with their build. So this PC, for the money, they honestly did a really good job. Like, we're, we're very impressed. It did about what you expect a 570 and a 1600 would do. Played games pretty well, and it's honestly pretty respectable for only 300 bucks, and it's even upgradable. So that's pretty cool that they gave us an upgrade path. Now, in the description down below, I will try to include the price that they paid for each part. I'm waiting to hear back from them because they kind of kept this secret from us to make a very interesting video. So I'll give you the actual breakdown of what they spent for each part in the description down below if you're interested. Um, I wouldn't recommend using all the parts in this build if you're trying to build a $300 gaming PC. We have a ton of videos on the channel on how you can build a PC. If you have not seen those, hit the eye in the top right corner or just check out our channel. Uh, but overall, pretty impressed that our viewers are uh, doing something. You know, We definitely taught them how to do it. So if you guys want a chance to win this computer, because that was part of the rules of them building this computer for this video, they wanted to give it away back to the viewers. And well, this is going to be an international giveaway. So no matter where you are, you can enter to win this gaming PC. And Jackson's going to tell you how you can enter. So if you guys use our Discord link down below, you can join our Discord community, which is of course Toasty Bros. And basically you're gonna join this community and you're gonna look for the giveaway channel in our Discord server. And there will be instructions inside of that channel once this video goes live. And honestly, it'll be really easy to enter. The main thing is you just have to be a part of the Discord channel. So make sure that you join it. And then we're gonna be announcing the giveaway winner March 25th. And we'll be announcing the giveaway winner at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. So if you're not there, it's not the end of the world we will message you on discord but it would be really cool if you were there to see yourself possibly win so guys if you do want to enter the giveaway discord link in the description down below highly suggest you enter if you want to win this we'll sign uh, it too yeah if you want us to sign it we'll do it maybe we'll add an rgb strip in here or something make it look prettier <laughs> i don't know what to say now for a second <laughs> all right guys but overall this was a really cool video we're very excited to see that our community can build decent pcs you know they did yeah. a pretty good job um and we're excited to uh make some other pcs for you guys and we hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye contest. You could win this.